Hi guys, it's Lindsay, and today's video is going to be my first of many Cripplet videos. And this video is over at the R Slended Deception by Hugo Gregory Gallagher. The hardcover has 242 pages, and it was published on March 1st, 1999. And it has 4.05 stars on Goodreads. I rated it 5 out of 5. I love this book. I'm a huge history nerd. History was one of my best subjects in high school. And it was my favorite subject in high school. I love it so much. Um, history is very interesting to me. And so the fact that I read this book. And um, FDR had polio. And this book talks about the great great lengths he and his staff took and his family took to hide his polio disease. They even like built ramps for him and stuff inside the White House. They lowered or raised streets for him to get in and out of easier. And there are only two known photographs, I believe, of him in his wheelchair. Roosevelt was president before the ADA, which, if you guys don't know, turned 30 this year. 30 years of having rights for people that have disabilities. And none of it would have probably been accomplished without this guy and what he did for his presidency. Then, okay, I'm going to open this up here and read to you. Um, the little inside quote that this has because I really like it. And there's two quotes I actually like from this. If paralysis didn't kill him, the presidency won't. Eleanor Roosevelt. He was a great, great president who felt like he had to hide his disability to be seen as an effective leader for the United States of America. And I really resonated with that because there's a quote in this book, and I'm paraphrasing this quote because I am not going to sit here and find it and read it to you guys. Um, but the quote basically says, I felt like I had to hide it to be the man I needed to be, to be, you know, I thought I was never going to find a cure, you know. I felt like I had tied it and I really resonated with that because I have always felt like I needed to hide my disability because I was in mainstream classes. I was, you know, with regular ed kids who did not see me as their peer because of my physical appearance. So I felt like I had to put up a front of this is who I am. This is how I have to be. This is, you know, I always felt like I had to put up a front and not be my true self. And even now I still feel that way with meeting someone new and not really knowing if they're going to accept you based on your physical abnormalities and physical appearance or mental capability, um, cognitive ability, but you just have to get over that and be your true self, regardless if you have a disability or not. Now, I gave this book to my aunt, who also loves history. When we get together for family holidays, like Thanksgiving, I know is coming up, and she is actually coming over to my grandma's for Thanksgiving, um, we talk about history. History is one of our favorite subjects. We both love politics. Uh, yes, history is our baby. I love history so much. And FDR, just the amazing, amazing links and strategies he took to um, hide his polio disease because he felt like he had to were amazing and these were years before the ADA which what is crazy to me is 
after his pregnancy ended. What is crazy to me is they tore every single one of his accommodations down out of the White House after he left his final term in office, which just seems absolutely shocking and absolutely crazy to me. But I, I guess I kind of get that because we did not have the ADA back then, and there's only two known photographs of him at his museum, I believe, or maybe none on display. But there's only two known photographs of him the whole time that he was in office, the whole time that he was president, in his actual wheelchair. That's shocking to me. Because to me, wouldn't you want to be prideful of a president who had, you know, a disability? Wouldn't you want to be proud and be like, well, look at what this man has accomplished. But at the same time, I understand that. Because we all just want to be seen as normal, regardless of what type of disability we have. So I can understand that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And real quickly, I'm going to show you, tell you the makeup that I have on my face. I have the NYX Hide Your Touch Primer. Uh, the CoverGirl Concealer in L600 Light Nude as foundation. I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus under eyes. And I have the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC NW15. Um... I have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow Mini as my bronzer and highlight. As my blush, I have on the Beauty Bakery Cotton um, Candy Champagne Palette. As my brows, I have on the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Pencil in Soft Blonde. And I set it with Maybelline Brow Gel. As eyeshadow, I have on the Too Faced salted caramel eyeshadow palette as mascara i have the mark jacob at lash mascara and reviews on those will be coming soon some of them are holiday releases and on my lips i have the charlotte tilbury walk of no shame lipstick which is also part of a holiday set i love this color um really quickly what me show you guys. Yeah, this is the color that I have on my lips. It's amazing. It's one of her matte revolution formulas, which I really like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye.